were assigned to do the Toastmaster speech, I contacted um, two, two Toastmasters on, uh, online, one in Gig Harbor, and they really didn't have room for me. And then I got a hold of uh, the Bremerton Harborside Toastmasters, and President Sarah Anderson answered the phone, and she's like, uh, you know what, we got, we got room for you Thursday next week, February 16th, come and give your speech. So I was like, cool. So I drove, uh, I drove downtown Bremerton. Um, it's a big bank, four story, and it's on the fourth floor. So as I'm walking up and I go to the elevator, I'm actually feeling pretty good. I'm not nervous. I'm feeling calm. And I was, I was afraid when I got up there, I'd get nervous and I'd forget what I was going to talk about. So I get there and Sarah welcomes me, you know, and it brings me in the room. And there's about 10 people. It's, it's semi-formal, semi-informal. People are, you know, a lot of people seem to work at the bank, and we, we go around and greet, and I'm feeling comfortable, and and uh, it was neat seeing them interact with the the Madam Toastmaster and the Master at Arms, you know, conducting the ceremonies, and you got the timer, and you got the grammarian, so uh, that was neat, and I sat through uh, their 10 minutes of the beginning of the meeting where they discuss future plans and topics they need to go over and filling slots for, you know, uh, toasts down the road. So the speeches start, and the, the guy before me, Patrick, gets up, and he goes to talk, and as he walks up, he, he thanks the Mr. Toastmaster, he thanks fellow Toastmasters, and then I'm thinking, I don't know if I can do that, because I'm not really a Toastmaster, I'm a guest. And, and then he looks at me, and he's like a distinguished guest, and I'm like, oh, cool. So he does his speech, and uh, it goes pretty good, and then he sits down, and then they, they ask me to come up and speak. So I go up and, and I do the, uh, you know, thanks Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and I got through that. I gave my speech and my speech was on my son, my son Connor and how I love the chicken nuggets. I thought I got through the speech pretty well and I thought I covered everything, you know, I didn't leave any big parts of the speech out. And the person who evaluated me was the president, Sarah, and at the end she says, yeah, your speech was good, the only thing was, uh, how old's your son? I was like, oh man, I forgot that. So I left with, you know, other than that, I did pretty good. And then we come back to class, and Dr. Phil's like, uh, make sure you guys get your three live speeches in. So then I'm like, oh, man, I, I did the play. Uh, I watched that one speech at the uh, Toastmasters. I thought I was all done. And then I'm like, well, i got to go back to Toastmasters and start. So I called up Sarah, and, and she says, you know what? Come on in. we got room for you again next Thursday. So I go up. And the only point of me going there was to view a speech. So I sit down at the meeting and, and uh, they ask me, they're like, you know, we could really use your help on this. Is there anything you'd like to help out with next week? You know, and I'm like, well, I'm thinking in my head, I'm here just to view a speech, but sure, I'll do a um, timer, something simple. And, yeah. and President Sarah, she's like, well, you know, I think you should do another speech. And I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> All right, so the next Thursday, March 1st, I go up there again and I give another speech and this time I get there and it was uh, even more comfortable because I knew everybody and shook hands, it was about 10 people and the, the person doing the uh, grammarian asked me if I could critique them as well. So I got to take notes and, and say, yeah, you did really good, you were attentive and, um, and I also got to give my speech and Mark who did my critique says, uh, you did good, you know, you didn't leave out any key points. You said less ums than you did last time, and uh, otherwise you did good, and I felt, I felt good about it. So I left thinking, you know, Toastmasters is all right. I can do this public speaking thing. And um, what I got from it was if you go to Toastmasters, don't plan on sitting by and just kind of <laughs> getting away with nothing because they're going to make you do something. And uh, hope you enjoyed it.